morning, everyone. Hey, cheese. Good morning. Morning, Knott's Berry Farm. Wanted to show off my, my new haircut and my Chicago Cubs uniform today. Welcome in, everybody. Let me know what you had for breakfast. Check in with a nickname and breakfast, everybody. What class number is it? 75. Gotta love it. Let's start out with these bad boys right here. The old little dumbbells. Just start getting the runs in. That's it. Ah, there it is. YouTube is working. Uh, Knott's Berry Farm is here. We've got Dinger in the house. So, hop on to YouTube. Thank you, Grandma Squeaky Cheeks. This hair represents 75 days of quarantine. That's what this hair says. So I wanted to show it off. Since it's class 75, had to had to represent with 75 hair. That's it. A lot of people in 1975 wore their hair like this too. Now we go across early bird dumbbells. It's raining a little bit in California, so that's why I'm indoors. But I hope you can join us, stay a while, get a little pump in. Dominator in the house. We've missed you, Dominator. Soto in the house. Welcome, get those dumbbells going. And to the shoulder press. Little early bird shoulder press. Some of you have probably never seen my hair because I'm always wearing my hat. Keep going with the shoulder press. I'm also wearing my Ian Hap Chicago Cubs uniform. Go Cubbies. That's right. Dumbbells on the ground. Three claps. One, two, three. And let's go arms high. Hope that shirt's tucked in, folks. I hope you're all right. I hope you're, you're safe. Hope your family is healthy and safe. Side. Other side. And touch your toes. Touch your toes. Don't pick your nose. That's it. And spread out wide. Sniff your left patella. Smell that left knee. Let me know what it smells like. Mine smells like graduation. Some of you are graduating. Today might be the uh, special day. Switch over to the right. Is this anybody's last day of school? We want to give you a formal, formal celebration side to side. That's it, side to side, just like that. We're gonna stay right here in this place for a bit. We're here in the man cave today because of the drizzle outside. Norman is, is watching, George, the drum set, Fergie Jenkins, Rod Carew, Roberto Clemente, Babe Ruth, Tommy Lasorda, and many others. That's it. Pick those strawberries on your marks. Get set. Go. One, two, three. 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 Be honkus. Butterflies. That's it. Get that good stretch. Try to think back to all the classes we've had together and some of your favorite moments. 
We'll be sharing those uh, today and next week. If you uh, find yourself missing this class over the summer, well, you can go back and watch all 80 of them on my YouTube. I went back and watched class number one the other day. Pretty funny. Alberta is in the house. Welcome, Alberta, Canada. Chicago Tubbs. Love it. Chicago Tubbs loves this jersey. Make a V. Touch your left phalange. Get that chest out. Get both hands out there and switch. Smell your right knee once again. Yep, cat food. Both phalanges. And modeling pose. Left leg out, right foot across. Twist and say, oh my lanta. That's it. Hug that knee into the chest. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. And switch. I wore this jersey because I figured if, if I wear this jersey today, hug that knee into the chest, maybe Major League Baseball will come back soon. Breathing good, positive vibes. To the game of baseball. Downward facing dog. Get those calves down to the ground. Upward facing dog. Bark like a dog. Arpy! Arp, arp! And half moon. I hope your shirt's tucked in. By the way, Mrs. Boggan, should we tell them about the new shirts? Or keep it a surprise. Switch. All right. Oh, balance. Half moon. And up to the feet, run in place. New shirts are being ordered. They'll be out this summer, but it's a surprise. Can't tell you anything else. And freeze. Faster. Freeze. Faster. Freeze faster. You got ants in your pants. Oh, those ants are in my pants. And there's a caterpillar in my sock. Oh, my Atlanta. And now I've got a, a bow weevil in my armpit. Oh, get it out of there. And I've got uh, peanut butter in my hair. Yucky, sticky, wow. Freeze. Three claps. One, two, three. Arm circles. Start small. Get bigger. A little bigger. And back. Start small. Get bigger. Real big. Hug yourself. That's it. Flamingo. Great job, McBomber. I see you, Judge Jr. Atta boy, Soto. Who else is uh, watching from Alberta? Other than Chicago Tubs. Switch to the other side. That's it. Twist that trunk. Way to go, Super Henry. And 10 jumping jacks. On your marks, get set, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Everybody, down and ready position. Get that B honk is down. That's it. I see you, Super Henry. That's it. I see you. Ready? Rotate. Boom. And move those feet on the ground. And rotate. Boom. B honk is down. And rotate. Boom. And rotate. Call this the clock drill. You're moving around in a circle like a clock. Now go counterclockwise. Whoop. Down and ready, tapping those feet. And rotate. And rotate. And rotate. 
Very good. Let's sing the dance on a toilet song. On your marks, get set, go. Sumo, sumo, dance, dance. Everybody dance on a toilet. Hey, and hold the pizzas in your hand. Take your dumbbells. In 30 seconds, how many times can you do this? Curl, shoulder press, and back down. On your marks. We see you, Anya, in Ireland. Welcome in, everybody. Let's get a good workout in today. On your marks, get set, go. So that makes one. Curl to the press, that makes two. If you don't have dumbbells, you can use your flip-flops or maybe a can of green beans. I love green beans. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. It's time to grab that sip of water, and I'd like to ask you a question. What has been your most fun moment of this PE class? And this is not the final class. We've got five next week as Batgirl has entered the building. At a girl, Batgirl. Crusher is in the house. At a boy, Crusher. Dinger. He wants to go all the way to class 100. Uh, Instagram, YouTube, let me know what has been your favorite moment um, of class, these 75. Cheese is going to go with trivia. And like I said, the uh, magic word of yesterday was was listen. And this is how this is how I listen. I ask you the questions, and you tell me the answers of what you love, and then we do more of that stuff. My job as a coach is to get you to come back next year. I want you to come back to this class when we start back up. So we need to have fun. Um, another trivia. Dominator loves doing the sevens. Jake N25 loves trivia. Judge Jr. loves Wacky Wednesday. Casey loves the first. Is this your first class, Casey? By the way, Bicep Salute, what's your nickname, Casey? Everybody's got to have a nickname here at our class. Super Henry loves the hot dog story. I love it. Dinger loves Wacky Wednesday. Um, Grandma Squeaky Cheeks loves everything. Soto loves getting stronger. I love that. Cheese loves to tuck his shirt in, too. Big fan of tucking the shirt in. Love it. Outstanding. Well, uh, I would say one of my many favorite moments of this class is just getting to know you all. And uh, I think about this a lot. Like, I have a picture in my head of what Dinger looks like. And Soto and Super Henry and Knott's Berry Farm and Dominator and Cheese and Jake N25 uh, and everybody from all over the world. Um, I have this idea of what, what you look like. And all of you uh, look like you have a Chicago Cubs uniform on with your shirt tucked in and a, a huge uh, wad of bubble gum in your mouth. That's what I see. Uh, but that could be totally wrong. No, Soto is probably going to wear a Cardinals jersey. Um, Chicago Tubbs and Batgirl, they love the Zoom PE. I love that too. Crusher enjoys the, uh, the salutes. He loves the salutes. Fantastic. All right, back to the dumbbells. Um, like I said, if you don't have dumbbells, use your flip-flops. But we're going curls to the shoulder press once again. This time... Every time you do one, you got to say a Major League Baseball player that you look up to. Okay? And if you're at a loss, you can just look behind me. There's so many of those. Wow! Show the class, Bitty Ball Game. Bitty Ball Game uh, colored something, and she'd like to show it to you. So you got to come over here and show it to them. 
Whoa, let's give her an Atta Girl. One, two, three. Atta Girl. Thank you, Vitty Ball Game. All right, say those baseball players' names as you do your set and go. Rod Carew. Jackie Robinson. Anthony Rizzo. Albert Pujols. Justin Turner. Roberto Clemente. Willie Mates. Satchel Page. Chris Bryant. Bryce Harper. Mike Trout. Cody Bellinger. Carlos Carrasco. And down. Very good, very good. We've got an ad girl from mom and dad. My parents, I'm pretty sure, are the only ones that have seen all 75 classes. So let's give uh, my mom and dad a round of applause. Um, I think Super Henry's probably missed one or two classes. Soto has maybe missed two or three. Mr. Watermelon is in the house. So I've got an Andre Dawson uh, jersey, and he's number eight as well. But I keep that one in special keeping. That's up in the uh, closet, wrapped up in some packaging. This is an Ian Happ, also number eight. Um, fantastic. So, uh, Mom, what we were asking the question, favorite part of class, uh, maybe you could share that with us. Anybody else have, have another favorite moment? And that's what we'll be doing during our water breaks, is I'll be asking you your favorite moments of class. That way when we start this class back up, after the summer break, I'll know what to do. I definitely want to do some trivia. We definitely want to tuck our shirts in. Brian Farkas loves the jersey, Cubs jersey. Judge Jr., also a big fan of trivia. Mr. Watermelon, what's been one of your favorite moments? Mama Ball Game loves the yoga stretches. Love it. Oh, Global Freeze loves when I play the drums. Yeah, man. We'll rock those out today for sure. McBomber uh, class ends June 17th, so you still got a couple of weeks. Mr. Watermelon says they're all his favorites. I love it. Global Free, Sportsmanship Salute, Positivity and Kindness. Um, he also loves the Joke Telling Contest. Judge Jr., you're welcome. Dinger loves the Floss Karate. Yeah, that's a good one. No doubt about it. All right. Well, I want to go one more set right here. And this time, um, you're just going to say th words that would make the baseball players that you just said think that you're awesome, right? Words uh, that you would say to Rod Carew, Roberto Clemente, Mike Trout, Cody Bellinger, that would make them say, wow, that kid's a ball player, right? Anya in Ireland loves the positivity. Sportsmanship salute to you, Anya, in Ireland. As we go curls into the shoulder press, on your mark, get set, and epic. Kindness. Thoughtful. Hardworking. Ambitious. Determination. Go Cubs. Shirts tucked. Happiness. Never give up. Selfless. Thinking about others. Listening. Smiling, laughing, and down. Round of applause. 
Very good, very good, very good. Harrison Green in the house. Welcome. So, uh, Cheese brought up a great point. I don't think you can't like something during this PE class. Hey, how about a round of applause? That's a good note right there. Um, I would I would say this. Uh, my mom sometimes doesn't like my beard. She's more of a clean shaven, so that might be the only time mom disagrees. Uh, but yeah, I'll clean the uh, the beard up before we go to North Carolina. Um, now I want you to uh, throw in the comment section uh, something you've noticed about somebody else in the class, right? You've, you've never met any of these people, but you've seen a lot of the comments, right? And you hear me call out their nicknames every day. And you have seen a few on the trivia, but something that somebody else did that maybe fired you up and made you want to be a better person. Um, the world is, is grieving right now, and the only way we as ballplayers uh, can do our part is to say some kind things to our teammates. I'm going to stay in my lane as far as the world issues go and, and just talk about being a good teammate. Tell me about some good teammates in this class. Cheese says, everybody is so amazing at trivia. Dominator says, you all have cool nicknames. Super Henry loves the warm-up exercises. Crusher loves the karate floss. McBomber says, everybody respects everyone. That is correct. We have kept this a very positive um, comment thread. Dominator loves how everybody's shirts are tucked in. Harrison Green says everyone supports each other. Soto says everybody is kind. Man, that's why sports is so important. That's why I just want to get every kid I can find uh, uh, to, to, to play a sport and fall in love with that sport because then you start to build this. The compassion that gets shown even virtually. Wow, scholar salute from Cheese. That is strong. Harrison Green, that we all take our time to do this. Hey, absolutely. I got to thank you guys for tuning in just as much as me. It, it's tough to get people to show up to this class. But now you folks, I mean, you're, you're here. And I, I thank you for that. Stronghold. That's right. Welcome in. The sportsmanship is great. McBomber's gotten so much better at baseball. I love it. All right, gang. Let's get a little sweat going. So we can put the dumbbells up. And I'm going to give you an option today. Okay, I'm going to get stronger in my push-ups. So I'm going to be doing my push-ups, and then I'm going to be doing my body squats. I'm going to be going back and forth doing those two things. All right? If you, um, maybe you're just not into the push-ups or it's too tough for you, then pick a different exercise, any of the ones that we've ever done, and substitute that. Same with the body squats. Uh, but we're going to pick two, two that we really want to work on, and go back and forth. And we're going to go 15 seconds. Back and forth. Back and forth. Let's do this together. I need you to work hard. Uh, and and, and uh, you need me to work hard. So we're going to work hard together. Dinger is going to do burpees. Wow. That is ambitious. On your marks. Get set. And go. Push-ups. Two. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. And switch. Now you're sitting on this. That's it. That's it. 
Fantastic. And switch back to the first one. And switch back to the second one. That's it. Good job, Super Henry. Good job, Grandma Squeaky Cheeks. That's it. And switch. Baseball boy has entered the building. Ooh. Keep it going. And back to the other one. Hang in there. We're going two full minutes of this. So we've got one more set after this. Hang in there, body squats, and switch. Last one, back to the first. And switch, back to the second. Three, two, and stop. Very nice. You should be breathing hard. You should be sweating. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. That's it. And grab that water. I want to keep going because there's been so, so many moments if you add up the moments, 50 minute classes times 75. Let's start with that trivia question. How many minutes of this PE class have we done together? BMW in the house, welcome in. 75 classes times 50 minutes. Is what? That boy Lando. That boy Lambo. Mr. Watermelon says 3,750. Oh my Lanta. Dominator, also with the correct answer. Scholar salute. Good job, Crusher. Good job, Judge Jr. 3,750. In those 3,750 minutes of PE class, um, what's another favorite moment? And maybe you want to get specific. A favorite story. A uh, favorite trivia question. Uh, one of my favorite moments is definitely hearing my neighbor give Soto an attaboy after he won the broadcasting competition. Um, <laughs> that moment will stick into my brain forever. A man in California screaming at a boy to uh, a young man in St. Louis, Missouri. Ah, Stronghold loves the rookie of the year questions. Soto says winning the broadcasting competition was one of his favorites. There you go. Touche. Karate Philosopher Dominator. Uh, Mr. Watermelon also loved seeing Soto win the broadcasting. Sportsmanship salute. Grandma Squeaky Cheeks. Uh, the Jim Abbott story. Outstanding. Cheese loves when bitty ball game and baby ball game join in. <laughs> That's awesome. I know my uh, mom and dad do too. Judge Jr. has a really good one here. When the whole class helped him not give up one day, he wanted to give up. And I can remember that day. And I'm sure some of you can as well. And we pumped him up. Anya in Ireland loves the karate floss.
Uh, Soto loves the Jackie Robinson reading book. Mm hmm. Got it right here. The Magic Tree House. All right. Soto, if you don't have this book, go get it. And that goes for everybody. Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson. Consider him one of the best athletes of all time. Four sport athlete. And not a lot of people wanted him to play Major League Baseball. And just like Jim Abbott, he just said, watch me. And my ball game loves seeing the family. But, uh, yeah. Let's talk Jackie real quick. All right, I'll stay in my lane once again with, with the world's issues. But Jackie Robinson, uh, comment what he means to you. There's a guy named Pee Wee Reese put his arm around this guy on his very first game when a lot of fans were just not smart. They were displaying ignorance by not wanting uh, this man to play baseball. And then Pee Wee Reese puts his arm around Jackie. And that was a defining moment. Dominator says, breaking down barriers. Chicago Tub says he was strong. Soto's already read this book with dad. Atta boy, Soto. Crusher's already read the whole series. Mr. Watermelon says, we will all wear this number. Cheese says he's an inspiration to never give up and turn the other cheek. Man, another scholar salute for Cheese. Soto, he made it possible for people that look like me to play baseball. Phew. I'm going to need a minute after that one, Soto. Yes, he did. Here's what I know, Soto. We all look the same as ball players. You look like me. I look like you. You look like Jackie. I look like Jackie. Cheese looks like Jackie. Dominator looks like Roberto Clemente. We all look the same if we're ball players. Soto, you the man. Larry Doby, Don Newcomb, Joe Black. They all deserve credit as well. You're right, Stronghold. Mason Wong, let's keep our comments uh, relevant to what we're asking about. That's what Judge Jr. loves about baseball. Outstanding. Oh, I love this class. All right, grab that tennis ball. Wrap it around your waist with a hula hoop on your marks. Get set, and my watch is going crazy. Go, hula hoop around the waist. That's it. Let's see what other creative things we can do with this tennis ball. How about under the left leg? That's it. You are correct, Stronghold. It's very good. And switch it to the right. That's it. And around the hair. Whoop, whoop, whoop. T-Rex drill, back and forth. Pass it back and forth. Good job, Crusher, Judge Jr. Welcome in, Seb Curtin. Good job, Dominator. That's it, Tyler B. Soto, well done. Back and forth. That's it. Figure eight. Fast as you can. Fast as you can. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Way to go. Boom. 
Ooh. and freeze. Very good. So the word of the day yesterday was listen. Um, just comment in the comment section if you were able to learn something yesterday by using our ball player word of the day, listen. Maybe you weren't. Maybe you listened all day and all you heard was birds chirping. And if that's the case, just type that. But uh, while, while using our word of the day, listen, did you learn anything? For me, uh, during trivia last night, my, my trivia co-host Cameron was talking about a word, uh, compassion. That's a word he's using a lot right now uh, when he coaches, when he teaches, when he thinks, when he talks. And I listened to that, and that helped me a lot. Um, that's a good word. That's a ball player word. Shout out to Tommy Lasorda Stronghold. That is right. So comment in the comment section if you if you found anything out yesterday by listening. Um, I find myself uh, wanting to always have people hear what I want to say, right? I think that's just part of being a coach and a teacher. I want to do all the talking, but I learn a lot by just listening. And uh, Soto, you taught me a lot. Preeti, Judge Jr., when you guys speak, cheese. When you guys speak, man, I just, I'm trying to listen because I learned so much more. Epic. Judge Jr. did some listening yesterday, and it, it, uh, it taught him to not, not be disrespectful. Mustache salute, right? If you want to earn an award at the end of one of my baseball camps, well, then you got to make good choices like being respectful, being kind, joyful, all the salutes. Outstanding. Okay, back to the action. This is a little bit of jumping jack and floss karate. We're going to go back and forth from the jumping jack. How fast can you do jumping jacks? And how fast can you do the floss karate? These are some of our faves. On your marks. Get set. And jumping jacks. Boom, 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 boom. We'll go 15 seconds. And switch. Floss karate for 15. Floss karate for 15. That's it, Anya in Ireland. That's it, Judge Jr. Good job, Dominator. Soto. Grandma Squeaky Cheeks. Fantastic. And switch. Back to the jumping. Stay on your toes throughout this whole two-minute process. That's it. And switch back, Super Henry. Floss, karate. Boom. 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 That's it. Hello. Flossing it. Wow, the shirt's staying tucked in. And jumping. We're Jack. Jumping Jack. Good job. Keep the movement. And switch. Floss karate. When you do your karate kick, lift your leg up with your stomach. And jumping. Faster. 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 Freeze. Very good. Get a sip of water. And then I'm going to do some drumming. And you get to do some of your favorite dances. Maybe your favorite dances involve you rolling around on the ground like this. Or maybe doing a floss dance while you're on your knees. Or maybe it's catching an imaginary fly. That's a dance you can do too. But do it to the beat of my drum. On your marks. Get set and 
section what dance move you just did. Did you floss with one leg? Did you brush your teeth with an imaginary toothbrush while wiggling your behonkus? What was your dance move? And now let's do a new one. One, two, three. sip of water and let me know what dances was going on there. What dance did you do, Captain America? Welcome to class. Crusher did the orange justice. BMW did the floss. Judge Jr. loves it when I play the drums during floss karate. <laughs> Judge Jr. also loves hitting sunflower seeds. He was hitting sunflower seeds uh, Soda was doing the floss karate. Uh, Captain America was flossing. We've got Casey doing the moonwalk. We've got Chicago Tubbs, Bubba. Uh, they did a dad dance. Ooh, I know the dad dance, right? Kind of like that right there where you, you make that face that it's like, I'm really trying to dance with my face. And then I just kind of wiggle my shoulders. That's a good dad dance. Um, ooh, Mr. Watermelon doing the Macarena. Outstanding. Stronghold just drank 24 ounces of water. If that was milk, uh, I'd be right there with you, buddy. Super Henry did the twist. Judge Jr. says his dad can't dance. <laughs> well, you got to teach him, Judge Jr. Dominator also did the dad dance. Um, Dominator, uh, that is correct. Uh, you also, when you do the dad dance, you got to snap your fingers. Yeah, a little wiggle of the head, right? And you got to bite your bottom lip and then snap your fingers. That's the dad dance. Um, Chicago Tub says a lot more hip movement with the dad dance in Canada. Uh, <laughs> you're right, Strong Mold. I love it. Um, that's right. Good at baseball. He was my teammate. Good at trivia, too. He'll be hosting Tuesday. Uh, awesome. So, um, this is not anybody's favorite. Maybe a couple's. Uh, but we are going to get our burpees in today. Because I just think uh, mentally we get stronger after we do these burpees. Again, if you want to substitute one of your other favorites, please do. Uh, I'm not here to make you make you do something. I want you to want to do it. So uh, do something else, right? Maybe you want to do the punches or uh, this dance or whatever. Okay, but I'm going to go uh, burpees for 15 seconds, sit-ups for 15 seconds. That's what I'm doing here, Anya in Ireland. Anya Max, get set and go. That's it. And switch. Do the other exercise for 15. If you're doing these sit-ups, hands to the ground, hands to the socks. Good job, everybody. Hello, Roberto. Hello, Tommy Lasorda. Hello, Yogi Berra. Hello, King Griffey Jr. Hello. Switch. And boom. That's why I keep the books around here. I look at their faces and it fires me up and motivates me to do more burpees. Up and down. Up and down. And switch. That's it, Anya in Ireland. Good job, Super Henry. Dominator. Lando. Puppy Pro. Fireball. 
Squeaky cheeks. Way to go, Judge Jr. Giancarlo Stanton. Good job, Albert Pujols. Giant. Horse hide. Black eye. Kickball. Switch. Little tizzle. Good job, Cheese. JKN25. Dinger. Knott's Berry Farm. Good job, Soto. Captain Clutch and Cheetah. BMW. Switch. Keep going. That's it, Harrison Green. Steinman. Way to go. And stop. Whew. You should be sweating. Great job, Chicago Tubbs. Bubba, Batgirl. Nice job, Devin Kennedy. Nice job, Speedy, Mr. Vancouver. We just did some burpees and some sit-ups. Trivia question. What class number is this? Type it in the comment section. How many times have we done this thing? Mr. Watermelon was the first to answer correctly. Second place, BMW. Third place, Soto. Fourth place, Crusher. Fifth place, Speed Teach. Sixth place, Judge Junior. Then Dominator, Mr. Vancouver, Fishman. Ani in Ireland. Then Chicago Tubbs, Bubba, Batgirl, Dinger. Well done. Captain America. Outstanding. So, it's about that time to wrap it up. But for the 75th time, we're going to go two minutes of what a ball player does. And then make sure you say bye-bye on your way out, okay? Uh, and we will see you Monday morning for class number 76. Um, Mrs. Ballgame, any announcements before we close up shop this weekend? No. Tell people about my coloring book. Stay safe. And love each other. Those are the messages and pray for businesses that have been destroyed and donate. Um, you can tell she's, she's saying it and then I'm relaying it back. Um, yeah, we, uh, we donated. If you have a question on who to donate to. Yes, we're donating to uh, businesses owned uh, by, by black Americans who've been destroyed. The businesses have been destroyed. We sent some money, saved her shop. We saved, uh, what's her name? We, we saved a shop in New York City. So I think that's what a ball player does. I think that's what we can do this weekend. Find those businesses uh, that are being destroyed and, and donate. There you go. Captain America, I'll see you for a baseball lesson tomorrow. See you, Dinger. Soto's making his bed. You're welcome, Frank Stokes. Good job, um, Super Henry. BMW, have a great weekend. Thank you for the donation, Soto. Thank you so much. We're going to pay that forward. We're going we're gonna to create great things from that. Dominator, bicep salute, big ups to you, Dom. Thanks for joining us, KCM. What was your nickname again, Casey? That's right, Captain America. See you Monday, BMW. Great job, Speedy. You're welcome, Judge Jr. Hey, you're the man, Speed Teach. Anya in Ireland agrees. That's a great idea. Donate to businesses owned uh, by black Americans that are hurting. Maybe they've, the, the uh, buildings have been 
vandalized or the coronavirus. What a crazy time. It's a time for ball players to step up and that's us. Thanks, Ty. Yeah, this haircut s <laughs> screams 75 quarantine PE classes. Still in my jammies today. Mrs. Ballgame has Fridays off work. She's been working hard. Let's give her an attic girl. So uh, when it's Becky Lowe, if it's all caps, it's mom. If it's not all caps, it's dad. That's funny. Love you, mom. Uh, now it's not the last day, right? You have next week? We got five days next Six week. Six weeks the last week. Anyway. So next week we'll have five. Um, and so Did we'll, you tell them about virtual camps that are possibly coming? Yeah, that's yeah. happening. We're, we're, uh, I'm going to be running a virtual baseball camp. Um, so look out for that. It's going to be with a couple partners, one in Canada, one in Philadelphia. They'll be doing soccer and hockey as well. So uh, if you wow, your hair is are stuck indoors <laughs> all summer, we're going to create this thing called uh, the Virtual Summer Camp at USA. That's what it's called. And the shirt's in the mail, and I'll be uh, letting you know about it. Love to see you, Mrs. Ballgame. That's Anya in Ireland. How about that? Oh, my gosh. We got an Anna girl from. Please, uh, let's, co let's come to Ireland when we can. Got an Anna girl from Frank Stokes and. Frankie Stokes. Emma. Oh, that's yep, yeah, that's Emma, Emma. All caps. <laughs> Avery Jean wakes up every day. Eight days. Eight days to Carolina. We've been going to the oh local gosh. Sandlot. Oh my, Atlanta. Chicago Tubbs in Alberta has oh. been going to the local Sandlot. Um, How do you remember all these names? Hey, when in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people. I, I learned that in fourth grade. I still got it. It's really cool. I can't remember how to clean the bathroom, but I can remember things I memorized in fourth grade. Oh my gosh, Ireland. That's definitely on my to-do list. So Anya, is, is there any open grass areas where I could run a baseball camp in Ireland? Maybe overlooking one of those beautiful mountains. Ooh, Wisconsin, too. It's beautiful. We will travel the world. That was our plan this summer. Well, yeah, that's the, but... that's the goal. And, and now uh, with MLB, who knows what's going on. Yeah. My goal before I turn 90 is to hit every town in America and run a sandlot there. I mean, how epic would that be? So get a Winnebago mm -hmm. and just, you know, paint it cubby. Cubby white, blue, and red, and, uh, and and explore the space. Yeah. Right. Want to do an Atta Girl Atta Boy challenge? Sure. You start. Atta Boy. Atta Girl. Atta Boy. Atta Girl. Atta Boy. Atta Girl. Hold. Countdown. Three, two, one. Atta Boy. Atta Girl. This is so awkward. <laughs> So do some Atta Girl and Atta Boy challenges. I'm going to go do some, some baseball lessons. And I'm going to go be a homeschool mom. Yeah, I've been a good homeschool dad all. lately. Love you all. Thanks for your support um, and donating. Uh, we, got, we, got a, we got a camp set up in Ireland, Vegas, and Wisconsin. Um, very good speed teach. Basically, what I do is I just get some folks to – to be boots on the ground and, and, and set it up, invite their friends, uh, find a place that we can run a sandlot game, and then boom. Stay safe, Frank Stokes. You the man. Bye-bye, everybody. Tampa. Yeah, it's happening. Appleton, Wisconsin. I like the sound of that. You got it, Anya. You're my connection. You and Connor Moore are my two Ireland connections. Um, oh, which book do you have, Adler? Which one? Uh, Alberta, Canada. We'll see you Monday. Chicago Tubbs, Bubba, and Batgirl, and, and Dad with the Dad Dance. Fires me up. You guys have been doing a Sandlot. If you could take a picture of that and then post it or tag me on Instagram, 
Um, I've been reposting those pictures of people doing sandlots. Oh yeah, the circular one with the baseball. Yep. It's a good book. Good, good, good book. Wow. All righty, gang. Bye-bye. Mason Gapinski, let's do some trivia next week. How about that? Thursday morning. Bye-bye on YouTube.